everybody. So I was thinking the last little while that we've had some really nice weekends worth of weather up here and I know that some people are on summer vacation and still others are taking summer vacation and if you're anything like me, if you've got the prospect of a weekend trip ahead of you or a little road trip or some kind of car ride or some kind of destination that's just far enough away that it's a change of pace but not necessarily too far away that you have to get on a plane then you'll probably pack your goodies and take them with you. So I wanted to share today the kinds of things that I take with me when I go away on a little trip or even like a little day drive somewhere because I never go without my crochet. And the great thing about traveling by car is that you've got space to take a bag full of goodies. So this is what is in my crochet bag. I was feeling particularly pink when I was putting this together, so you're going to notice a bit of a theme. But I love a bag that I can just flap into, and it doesn't take a whole lot of digging around in. So I can like look in here and I know exactly what's in my bag. First and foremost, this is a tool. Don't look at it like a piece of technology, look at it like a tool. This is a tablet, or maybe it's your phone, or maybe it's your laptop, or whatever little thing you're traveling with. There's Wi-Fi everywhere now, which means there's access to the internet and to each other now. And if there's not enough inspiration around you wherever it is you've gone, then here's a whole world's worth right here in the palm of your hand. So I like to travel with at least one piece of, of viewing technology just so I can stay attached to everybody that I like to communicate with and also so that I have the internet not too far away from my fingers because if I want to check something or I need to check out a technique or I want to watch a particular tutorial or maybe I want to do a little shopping, it's all right here. So I never go anywhere without my technology. Now, having said that, I never go anywhere without my book and pen either. This is my current book of patterns. So if I get an idea and I just have to write down a note or I think, uh, oh, that's a project I'd like to try down the road, it goes in here. If I'm busy working on something, it's brand new, uh, I make the pattern up as I go, it goes in here too. This is my craft journal, I guess, for lack of a better word, and I never go anywhere without that either. Now to the good stuff. If you're in the middle of a project, like I sometimes am, bring it with you. The great thing about the internet, or Etsy, or YouTube, or a half dozen other amazing medias available on the internet, is that you can get patterns. Some of them are free, some of them you have to pay for, but never very much, and you can print them off and take them with you. Sometimes you run out of battery life, or you don't have Wi-Fi where you're at, but there's always paper, and if you can print off the particular pattern that you're working with, or your list of ideas, always make sure you bring that with you too. I have my current project on printout with me all the time. Then, there's your real tools. This is a great tool bag. Obviously, it's a makeup bag, or a bag that was made with the idea of makeup in mind, and the reason that it's great for things like crochet tools is that it's thicker, it's lined, it's designed so that, you know, little bottles of perfume or um, mascara wands won't poke through or bleed through the fabric. So because crochet hooks tend to be a little on the pointy side, this is a great kind of bag to keep all of your little odds and ends in. In this bag, I have a sewing kit. I told you in one of my last episodes and I never ever go very far without a sewing kit. This is just a cheap little kit with a handful of colored spools of yarn, or sorry, string, um, a simple little thimble, a little paper measuring tape, absolutely nothing of, of any great value in here, so if the whole thing disappeared on me tomorrow it wouldn't, you know, make me cry, but invaluable if you need to sew on a button or sew on a bead or fix a tear or anything in, in you know, your real life, I never travel without a sewing kit, and if I'm crafting, I especially need one of these. Um, always have a couple of extra buttons. Buttons end up on projects, they end up on clothes, they end up on hats. Children tend to lose buttons, so do husbands. Um, it's always good to have a couple of extra buttons around. And a good measuring tape. You never know when you might need one of those. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> Um, your favorite tools, I usually have a handful of them, there's more buttons. Oh, that's another thing guys, 
These buttons, I forget what their official title is, but these are buttons that are flat topped. So the actual sewing goes on behind them. I don't know if you can sort of see that behind them. So the tops are just plain. These make great eyes. Now they're not safety eyes like you can buy specifically for little toy projects, but they do make really nice eyes if you needed an, an eye on the spot, if you were making a cute little stuffed toy or some kind of applique that required a, a dot or an eye. Um, you don't have to be distracted by the holes in the center of them. So these are great. Whenever you see them, pick them up because you'll be amazed at how many of them you actually end up using. Always have a pair of scissors. Maybe even two. Safety pins, completely invaluable. They hold pants together if your button goes or your zipper or, you know, ladies, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Um, they hold together bra straps. You've got to have some safety pins on you. Any, any woman worth her, her sense has a bunch of these. And any guy who's got an extra pocket should have a few of these handed around. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Always have some safety pins on you. Plus, they make great stitch markers and they make great placeholders, so you should always have some safety pins. And I always keep safety pins with a few extra beads on them. Um, this can either be a safety pin that's marked as a special pin, like I know say how many uh, rows I was at, like uh, use it a bit like an abacus, or um, I take pretty beads with me just in case I want a couple of little things to use as um, decorative details, because um, you never know, you might actually need a couple of beads. Also, this is a ball chain, um, frequently used as a, uh, something like this, for example, as a keychain. Um, I always have a couple of these on hand too, just in case I want to completely finish a project as a keychain or link a couple things together or if the safety pin isn't big enough and I need to hold more stitches and make sure they're not going to fall off these are really handy too and frequently you can get these um, for free if you know you shop um, sometimes clothing you get has tags on them that are actually attached with these so don't throw them out these are awesome things to keep keep uh, keep on hand so I always have a couple of those too then there's my hooks I always have my favorite hook. This is the one that I do most of my work with because I've learned over the years that this is a hook size that is comfortable for me. Uh, my method of crochet, the tightness of my stitches, is best reflected by a hook this size. Now, everybody is different. Um, so as you crochet, you'll find that there's always a particular hook you reach for. That becomes your favorite hook. Never be leave home without it. But, having said that, you might need hooks to do different things. So maybe you need to make a small detail. So I particularly like my size 3. I use this one a lot. Maybe you need a detail that's a bit larger. Um, that's a size 4. I also love the way the bamboo hooks feel. They feel so smooth in my hands, so I, I usually have these with me. This is a size 7. If I suddenly have the urge to do something big and lacy and loopy, like a, a granny square or an afghan, I've always got my size 7 with me. And these are just a, another couple of, of good sizes. This is a 3.75 and this is a 5.5 and these are very standard, especially 5.5. That's probably the most standard sized hook. Uh, and of course I'm speaking in millimeters. So that's that. Um, obviously you should, oh there's another one, that's a really tiny hook. I don't even know if you can see it, it's practically like an ice pick. Ooh, I wouldn't use it for that though. No. Um, and a yarn needle. This is one of the most important things you can carry with you because it helps you finish off your work and so work together and that's all really really important too so always have a good yarn needle nice and trusty and I usually have a little stash of beads uh, a light pack and a dark pack these can be eyes these can be little glimmers um, they can just be decorative little pretty decorations depending on what I find myself working on so I always have a little a little bit of bead bead stuff with me too so that is what is in the kit so that is sort of the kit that never leaves the bag. It's always part and parcel of it. And that all fits together in there very nicely. Then there's whatever yarn inspires you at the time. As you can see, I am totally into pink right now. I've got hot pink, I've got sparkly pink, I've got sweet pink, and I've got a pinky purple mottled variegated sort of thing. Um, so obviously I'm going to do some kind of a pink project. And because a lot of projects call for details that aren't always the same color as the yarn you're using, I always have a bag 
of spare small balls. And I usually have uh, one or two colors or shades of every single color I'm working with, plus a gray, a white, and a black, and a brown. And I always have a bunch of those with me because you never know when you may need to do uh, a detail with a different color, make an eye, make a wing, make, uh, oh, anything. That rhymes, make an eye, make a wing, make anything. Anyway, you never know when you might need an extra color, but not a whole lot. So it's good to always keep all your scraps, roll them into little balls and keep them in a bag. And um, these clips are available at the dollar store. Uh, you probably have a pile of them in your kitchen to hold together the chip bags that you haven't finished eating. They also make great things to carry in your travel kits because you can clip all sorts of things together, not just chip bags. Although that's probably where I got this one. So I love chips, but anyway. The other thing I always have, because I like to do a lot of stuffed toys, is a bag full of stuffing. It's your basic polyester fiber fill. I keep it wrapped up nice and tight in a bag. And the nice thing about polyester fiber fill is that it can get squished into a small spot, but then it gets its space, it gets its its uh, its shape back later. So that's the biggest thing I stick in there. And that is it. That is what you would find if you looked into my fancy little crochet bag of tricks. And this fits neatly into the back seat or into the trunk of the car or under your feet. If you're like me and if you're not driving, you actually crochet while you're sitting in the passenger seat, as long as you don't get car sick. That is what you will find in my bag. And that is what's going with me this weekend as I go looking for something else to inspire me. Anyway guys, thanks very much for popping in. We will see you again shortly in our next video. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, you have to tune in to find out. Make sure that you like and subscribe to us. We really appreciate it. You're, you guys really make us feel awesome when you give us comments and every time we, we pop online and we see that our subscriber list has gone up, it always fills us with all sorts of butterflies and makes us wanna do more stuff. So please keep subscribing because uh, that is just the most affirmating thing. Is that a word? Affirmating? Affirmation? Affirming? Affirming? It's the most affirming thing I can think of. Um, if you don't know how to subscribe, it's really simple. You just have to create yourself a YouTube account. It's completely free. And if you do that, then you can pick people you want to follow and you will get notifications every single time a new video is posted. It's like your own personalized television. I love the age we are living in. Anyway, guys, we will see you again very, very shortly. And thank you for tuning in. Bye! <laughs> Let's go on a trip. Let's go somewhere interesting. <laughs>